What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, retired two-time welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, future Hall of Famer, Showtime Sean Porter, has finally gave his thoughts and his assessment on this highly anticipated massive undisputed welterweight showdown that's coming up july 29th las vegas nevada t-mobile arena between undefeated three division world champion former junior welterweight undisputed world champion currently the reigning wbo welterweight world champion who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is 39 wins, no losses, no draw. 30 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch armage. He's actually represents the last fight that Sean Porter had in his career. And the first time Sean Porter in his career was stopped. And that was November of 2021 when Sean Porter who is now retired, um, suffered a 10th round stoppage loss to Terrence Crawford. Sean Porter retired now. 31 wins, four losses, one draw. 17 wins by way of knockout. One time in his career, he's knocked out. Five foot seven with a 69 inch armage and an orthodox fighter. He also fought Terrence Crawford's upcoming opponent, the other half of the mega massive fight in a unification bout, he fought this man, an undefeated, unified, three-belt, WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one. He is definitely top five, pound-for-pound pound best fighters in the world, and Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. holds a record of 28 wins, no losses, no draws, 22 big wins by way of knockout. 33 years of age, 5'9", with a 72-inch armage. Sean Porter and Errol Spence, they fought September of 2019, two years prior to Sean Porter fighting Terrence Crawford. And uh, Errol Spence, he won a split decision. Many people felt like the knockdown in the 11th round proved to be the difference in that fight. There was people that thought that Errol Spence was losing that fight. Sean Porter was winning. There's people that thought that Sean Porter was beating Terrence Crawford going into the 10th round of that fight. People thought Sean Porter was winning. There's a famous clip that went viral of Terrence Crawford in the corner going into from the ninth round to the 10th round where Terrence Crawford is being told that he's losing the fight. And he said, I'm losing. And he said, and Apparently, it was Timothy Bradley, two-division world champion, Hall of Famer, and um, colorful analyst for ESPN and Top Rank. And apparently, Tim Bradley was telling... Terrence Crawford asked Tim Bradley, who's up on the card? And Tim Bradley was telling him, you losing. And he was like, I'm losing? How? And the next round, he stopped Sean Porter. Two knockdowns. Father trainer manager Kenny Porter waved the white towel, called the halt to the fight, and the rest is history. Sean Porter retired. Competitive fight again. So obviously, Sean Porter is the barometer for Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, for fans to try to gauge who would beat who, who did better against Sean Porter. He's the ultimate measuring stick. Because Sean Porter's style, he forces you to fight his style. He presses you every second of every minute of every round, right? Uh, he he is very athletic, arguably the best feet in boxing in his era, pro arguably the most athletic fighter of his era, and he has fought anybody and everybody. And he's never been dominated in no fight. So everybody looks to Sean Porter to try to get a, a understanding as to who hits harder, 
Who is faster? Who is stronger? Who's better? Who makes better ring adjustments? Who has a ring, higher ring IQ? Who has a better jab? Everybody's going to look to Sean Porter. He's a hot commodity, right? And um, Sean Porter's calling this fight. So Sean Porter can't give a prediction. Obviously, he has it in his head who he thinks is going to win, right? But, and he has said it slightly on a few occasions, but he, he's not going to go on the record anymore. From today's time to the actual fight, Sean Porter is not going to give you a, a winner. Now, maybe they'll do a fight prediction the day of the fight. And uh, they'll give you their winner, who they think will win the fight. But leading up into it, he's not going to do it. Because he don't want there to feel a bit a feel of bias. Uh, so Sean Porter, yesterday, he did an interview. Well, he did a live stream on his Port Away podcast. And on the Port Away podcast, Sean Porter stated two key things that obviously went viral. He said that one guy hits like you're getting hit with a belt. The other guy get, hits you like you're getting hit with a paddle. They both hurt. One just hurts more. And the other key thing he said was that Earl Spence has better defense than Terrence Crawford. So essentially, he was saying that Terrence Crawford is like getting hit with a belt. Errol Spence is like getting hit with a paddle. Now, to make a discretion as to one which one hurts the worst, it depends on the person. It depends on the belt. It depends on the paddle. Right? So, Errol Spence has a higher work rate. He's more physical. He's more consistent than Terrence Crawford is. Sean Porter said that Errol Spence has better defense than Terrence Crawford does. On my live stream yesterday, I broke it down. Who has a better defense? Why Sean Porter feels like Errol Spence has a better defense than Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford takes more chances in exchanges. He's going to try to counter your counter. Errol Spence is going to wait till you're finished, if that makes sense. Many people may not understand that. Let me break it down to you. When you're being offensive with Errol Spence, he's going to be 100% defensive. When you finish throwing, then he's going to go back on the attack and be offensive. When you are being offensive with Terrence Crawford, he's going to be 50% defensive but he's still 50% offensive. So which means he's going to give you openings to be able to be, to counter him and hit him. He's giving you more opportunities. He has extremely long arms, a wiry frame, and he's going to take more chances when it comes to offense. Errol Spence is more fundamentally sound. He's going to stay with the high guard up. He's going to walk you down behind his high guard. Keep his, keep, He's going to answer the phone, as I like to, to, to call it, right? Hold the phone, answer the phone, however you so choose. He's keeping the high guard up, keeping his elbows tucked in and protect his body, chin tucked down. He's walking you down like that. He puts a lot of physical and mental pressure on you by doing that. Terrence Crawford, at times, will have his hands all over the place. You know, hands at his side, you know, uh, uh, more of a relaxed style where... He can counter you because he's looking to counter you. It's not easy for Errol Spence to counter you from this high guard tuck and shell, right? He, it's hard for him to counter you like that. Floyd Mayweather counters you from a more, the Philly shoulder roll and the Philly shell defense gives you more flexibility to counter from here because you shoot this punch here, right? Or you can shoot an uppercut there, right? You're still in the shell. You're still protected. But this hand that's that's protecting this side, you know, where you could catch here or catch here or, you know, right? But you can still shoot a punch here or there, right? When you're in a complete high guard like this, elbows tucked in, answering the phone, and your opponent is offensive, 
and you trying to get out the way, it's hard. When you open up like this, right? You opening yourself wide. In a, in a, in a shoulder roll, you open it, bang. It's a quick reaction. Bang! Right? And you could, you could come right back to protecting yourself. Chin tucked, shoulder protecting, right? Arm cross the body, catching the body. Shoulder protecting your chin here. And you protecting your temple here, right? So you can bang! You can bang! Right? So you can counter like that. It's hard to counter from that type of style that Earl Spence uses. So Terrence Crawford, at times, right, when you watch Terrence Crawford, he he's using it. You know, he he'll he was styling on you, hands down. You know, he's more relaxed to be able to pluck at you. Bang! Right? The shoot his combination. Bang, bang, bang. Right? So he leaves himself open to get caught. As far as power goes, okay, when you look at it from a power standpoint, Errol Spence is a punch, is a is a fighter, is an accumulation puncher. Where he's saying that um, Terence Crawford has more power. Begin, he's with a more relaxed style. Terence Crawford punches are the punches you don't see. Errol Spence is working you. Sometimes Errol Spence smothers you, smothers his own offense. He's so close. He's so close. He's so physical. He smothers you. He smothers his own offense. Uh, and it's a workmanlike approach. It's accumulation. He's breaking you down over time, right? Body, head coming back up. Bang, 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 bang. It's like you a heavy bag that he's working. It's like he's working the heavy bag. Bang, 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 bang. Come back, back, bang, 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 bang. It's consistent. Torture method. <clears throat> There's a method that they use a single drop of water. Beep. In the same spot. Beep. <clears throat> Beep. It does multiple things. One, it drives you insane. The sound. And two, it's consistent in the same spot enough that it'll eventually go through your skull. A single drop of water. It'll accumulate so much that it'll eventually go through your skull. Consistency. And that's what Errol Spence is, consistent. So his his consistency equals power. Does he have one punch knockout power? No. no. But he's physically gifted. He's physically strong, physically athletic. He's fundamentally sound, and it's the, the that accumulation breaks you down. It wears you down. It makes you tired. And as you're tired, he's still active. You can't take no more. Terrence Crawford, speed equals power, and his awkwardness and his angles equals power, and he naturally has physical strength and power. So what Terrence Crawford does is, is a punch you don't see a lot of the times. You look at the combination he caught Sean Porter with when he dropped Sean Porter, right? When he dropped Sean Porter, the combination he caught Sean Porter with, right? Boom, boom, right? Sean Porter didn't even see the uppercut. So it's the punches you don't see that hurt you the most. And he's physically strong. So that's what it is. But the key to this fight is that Sean Porter's, uh, uh, Errol Spence's weaknesses is Terrence Crawford's strength, that mid-range area. And uh, 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 Terrence Crawford's weaknesses is Errol Spence's strength uh, get on the inside. So it's going to be extremely interesting how this fight plays out. And I can't wait to see it. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Who has more power? Who has the better defense? That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like your shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.